This is arguably the most futuristic monitor on the planet right now in the LG OLED Flex, a 42 inch 4K screen that can bend itself from fully flat all the way to a 900R curve, which combined with a 40 watt speaker system and the fusion lighting effects on the back makes this thing feel like it's straight out of a sci-fi movie. The standout feature though, of course, is the fact that the screen can curve all on its own. And it's able to do this with the motor in the back flexing these arms back and forth. It takes roughly six seconds for it to go from fully flat to 100% curved. And every single time that it does it, it is absolutely mind bending. So the TV goes fully flat every time you turn it off. And what's cool about it though, is when you turn it back on, it goes right back to that last curved state while also playing this sound effect, welcoming you back to your desk in a way that no other TV or monitor can. Of course, if you want, you can turn that feature off, but personally, I do like keeping it on since it does kind of mask that motor noise, which you know isn't the loudest to begin with, but better to have a cool sound effect than that. Now, in terms of the curvature, at 100% curved, or like that full 900R, the edges of the screen are roughly 4.5 inches out from the center. So it doesn't wrap around you the way the Odyssey Neo G9 does, even though this one is technically more curved. But the big advantage here is obviously with this one, you can control how curved it goes. There are 20 different levels in total in 5% increments, and you can save two of them to quickly switch between, in addition to, of course, being able to go fully flat when you just wanna sit back and watch a movie or something. But no matter what it is that you're looking at on screen, whether it's a movie or you're playing a game, given that this is essentially the same panel as the one in the LG C2, everything on here looks absolutely amazing. Since it's OLED, you get perfect blacks, nearly perfect colors, and high dynamic range, all at a 4K resolution with a 120 hertz refresh rate. And with it curving around you as you watch 4K content, I don't know, there's just nothing else like it. And by far and away, this is the best looking screen I have ever laid eyes on. Now, LG could have stopped there and this still would have been like a really cool piece of tech, but they went one step further with the stand, which has some pretty cool features in and of itself. The first is there are 40 watt speakers with Dolby Atmos, which unlike the speakers that you typically get built in on TVs, these ones don't suck. They actually sound pretty good, they get really loud, and they have some decent bass. And then on the back, there are these sweet lighting effects that pretty much complete that futuristic look. You can set the lights to a static color, you can cycle them through a loop, or you can even have them sync with whatever's on screen or playing through these speakers. They're not super bright or anything, but if you're close enough to a wall, they're bright enough to splash some light onto it, which makes this whole experience just that much more immersive. In terms of the connections, it's a little bit of a mixed bag. You get four HDMI 2.1 ports, which is great for connecting a PC and like gaming consoles at 4K 120, since it does support variable refresh rates. But unfortunately, it doesn't have display ports or a USB-C port, which, you know, it's not a big deal if you're using a PC or if you're a console gamer, but if you're trying to use this with a MacBook or like a Mac Studio, you're gonna be limited to 4K 60. All right, so at 42 inches with the standard 16 by nine aspect ratio, this is a really big monitor. It's technically not even a monitor, it's a TV complete with a smart remote and a smart TV OS. But the thing is, that line between TVs and monitors has kind of been blurring over the years with TVs bringing more and more of the features that you expect on the monitor. And you know, with the OLED Flex, LG basically built this to act as both. There are even options to make the screen size smaller down to 32 inches or 27 inches if you're ever feeling overwhelmed by the size, or you can even go ultra wide with a 21 by nine aspect ratio, which some people might prefer while gaming. But the point is LG thought of what PC users would want on this thing, and they put as many of those features into the software as they could to allow it to act as both a TV and a monitor on your desk. But at the end of the day, 42 inches still might just be too big for some people. You know, I know there's some people who swear by 48 inch TVs as their monitors, but you know, for me, that's a little bit too big. 42 inches does seem closer to that sweet spot. And you know, because the display actually curves, you don't end up needing to move your head around as much with that 900R curve, with it being pretty close to the natural curvature of your eyes. So, you know, personally, I can see myself using this as my main and only display, but that's just me. Of course, at $3,000, 
it's really expensive. Even when it's available for $2,500, there are a lot of other options out there that might provide a better value. There's the Samsung Odyssey Neo G9, or you can just go with the LG C2, which you know, you'd be giving up the flexing and the stand, but it's still an excellent display. But you know, if you want the best of the best, if you want the coolest and most futuristic monitor slash TV on the planet, well, this is it.